hello. I have returned with a new season and more food. So enjoy the next 15 minutes of me eating overpriced holiday peppermint food so that way you know which best to spend your money on. We have 16 holiday treats. Are we able to get through them all? We should. To kind of organize it a little bit, we're gonna do by the location of store bought. Oh, okay. We went to three stores. We went to Target, we went to, I went to Walmart because Target didn't have any of the Little Debbies. And then we got only Trader Joe branded holiday things. Okay, so let's start with Johnny Pops. Pumpkin spice and cream. It's gluten free. Don't worry. Don't know because it's gonna go out of focus. Sorry. Mmm. It smells like a pumpkin pie. Oh! I hope it's a pumpkin pie. It's pumpkin spice and cream, so I can only imagine. It says pumpkin, cream, cane sugar, purified water. Take a bite. Uh huh. That is pretty good. I mean, it literally just tastes like frozen pumpkin pie. Sure does. Thoughts? Okay. Thoughts? Super, super yummy. I like it, but like, I think it could only do like two bites and then be over it. Uh -huh. But I don't like, I don't like pumpkin pie. Okay. Right. So. I'd eat a whole one. Guys, guys, can I tell something? Yes. It's like kind of like freezing my tongue and sticking mm -hmm. my tongue at the same time. Ice cream does that. Jolly Pops pumpkin spice and cream. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, three thumbs up, round of applause. The next one up is Johnny Pops gingerbread and cream. This one has maple syrup, cream, cane sugar, and a pinch of salt. Oh, no more. But it has other ingredients in it too. Yes. Mm. Whatever. Mm. Oh. It says gingerbread and cream. It's maple syrup with a tiny bit of ginger. Mom. I feel like I could taste the salt in this one more than the pumpkin one. I like this flavor more. You do? But, again, I don't think I could eat more than the like, two bites. Gingerbread and cream. Three, two, one. Four thumbs up. Put up another thumb. There. Next we have the My Mo Mo Cheese Ice Cream with the cool peppermint. Ooh. So the hard part about like this Christmas food was the fact that nothing was like the same flavor. Okay. It just, we've got your Christmas, your Christmas flavors. Unlike fall, which is pumpkin spice. Uh, <laughs> Smell it. Here you go. <laughs> See, you're supposed to wait until these are like partially thawed anyway. Alright, are we ready? Yep. Not Anthony, I took a bite. Oh, it's so cold. Mm -hmm. There's wet in it. Mm -hmm. Peppermint. It's minted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's sticky. Mm -hmm. The Mimo peppermint mochi. There we go. Three, two, one. You didn't like it? Okay, so hot take. We have things stuck to the bottom of our oven. Thank you, Thanksgiving. I cannot stand the smell of another thing burning. Uh, so we are not making these, but we all know them. The Pillsbury sugar cookies with a design on them. What is everybody's thoughts on these? Anthony? I think that's really good. A different thing I'm really confused back and really mad at is yuck. A star is not golden, and every star I see is mostly golden. 
I don't like Pillsbury sugar cookies. I don't like sugar cookies in general. So. Hot take, these are trash. <laughs> now we are moving on to Trader Joe's, our battery is almost dead. Okay, first we've got the Almond Nog, a rich and creamy non-dairy almond beverage. Smells like eggnog. Egg free, lactose and dairy free, gluten free, soy free, vegan. <laughs> is it vegan, Papa? Sure is. <laughs> Mama, I'm going to say no to this one. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's watery. Uh huh. Trader Joe's almond nog. Three, two, one. Okay, moving on to Trader Joe's eggnog. Actual eggnog. Now, Connor's a little bit more particular with the eggnog than I am. There you go, Anthony. This is sweet eggnog. It's a lot uh, better yeah, than the almond yeah. eggnog. The actual eggnog. Three, two, one. Our next drink actually requires hot chocolate. Yay, hot chocolate! I'm just gonna put this in hot chocolate. Should we also put it in a glass of milk? Uh, yes. We'll put it in both? Sure. We'll put it in both. It is the cocoa peppermint almond creamer. We don't drink coffee, and I can't imagine putting this into tea. So. <laughs> We're gonna mix up, we're gonna change our camera battery, I'm gonna make some hot chocolate, and then we will be right back. Okay, so like I said, we don't drink coffee, so we have hot chocolate or we have cold milk. It does smell peppermint now, so Good. take one, milk. I definitely taste the almondy. Oh, I can feel that niceness, like that other one, and the brightness. Yeah. All right. I'm going to do another four thumbs up. <laughs> We're not there yet. We're not there yet. Papa, thoughts on the... I like it. I don't know that I add it to my milk, because oh. I love my milk. Right. But, you know... <laughs> but this is good. a... I mean... I don't know how much this was, but I feel like this would not be a great alternative to chocolate milk. And this is kind of giving me the the flavors that I want when I make chocolate milk mm -hmm. without having the powder of the syrup. Okay, so now we're gonna do it in hot chocolate. <laughs> it's not hot. Connor. Mm. Mm. That's what I Stop. normally have. Thumbs up. Cocoa peppermint flavored almond creamer. Three, two, one. So next we're gonna try the Trader Joe's. Winter Wassel. Um, a spiced holiday libation. A festive beverage blend of apple, black currant, and lemon juices from concentrate infused with holiday spices and orange peel. So it sounds to me like apple cider, but the Christmas version. Yeah, the things that you would make cranberry sauce with, just apple mm. cider instead of cranberries. Right. <laughs> it's strong smelling. Oh yeah, that's strong. Yep, it's <laughs> what a holiday candle smells like. You dear mama. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody give me that almond milk I like. Here's some hot chocolate. How is your spiced holiday libation? Uh, I was definitely right on like the hol holiday apple cider. Yeah. Um, it's not bad. I mean, I think I. It's definitely <laughs> spice forward. Yeah. Cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, cardamom, ginger, lemon juice, orange peel. 
did not like it. It is not something we are used to drinking. Correct. If I had it warm, I might like it better. Oh, like in a crock pot? Like, like in a crock pot. Holiday like party, uh, leave it out. Yeah. yeah. Which is exactly what it describes on the side. The history of Wassel and stuff. Three, two, one. Two ups and one down. Yeah. Okay. No, I really don't like it. Like it it's so yucky. <laughs> we will see you tomorrow, but for you, it's in like 0.5 seconds. Say bye. Bye. We're back. We are. Uh, we decided that I bought way too much uh, holiday food, so congratulations, there will be a part two. So we're gonna finish off the rest of the Trader Joe's because actually I found a second bag from Target that we didn't even open previously. Let's finish our Trader Joe's. Mini dark chocolate mint stars. You are on with sprinkles. This is really pungent. pungent. Yes. And by many, they're tiny. By many, they definitely mean mini. <sighs> mm. Okay. They resemble a thin mint. Okay. It is a mint chocolate cookie, like a thin mint. And that is the only reason why you say thin mint. That yes. is a crunchy cookie with chocolate on the outside. That is mint. Oh, Voting. Yeah. Okay. Three. Two. One. Wait, I don't know. It's really hard to tell. <laughs> we got Candy can Cane JoJo's, aka Trader Joe's Oreos. Mmm. More minty. Yeah, I cheated and had one of these when we first bought them. Yeah. It's an Oreo with bits of peppermint candy in it. There might See, be so peppermint in the cream as well, but like. I, so I had a problem with the mochi because my first bite of peppermint, or my first bite of the mochi, uh, reminded me so vividly of toothpaste that I, like, I had to work <laughs> past that. That quickly. could be a problem with creamy mints. Yeah, because like, toothpaste. <laughs> mm -mm. I don't like the extra crunch. It's almost gritty. Like I have sand in my mouth or something. Like it, it's kind of like somehow sand has gotten into my sandwich while at the beach. Candy cane JoJo's. Three. Two. One. So the last one we have are the peppermint pretzel slims. Dipped pretzels are my least favorite. Almost anything. I like peanut brittle. Well, that's true. But that's not what I meant to say. I like <laughs> peppermint bark. <laughs> Way more than I like peanut brittle. White chocolate dipped pretzel thins. What are they called? Pretzel peppermint thins. Sorry, they're not thins, they're slims. Slims. Pre peppermint pretzel slims. Well, just know Papa wants you to like and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell icon. Otherwise, they'll never know when we post because we don't have a schedule. Hey, that's mine! <laughs>